I'm the president of the town of the 10th, and I would just like to thank you everybody for coming out today. We're going to start our program off with the welcome. welcome you to the Talented 10 Ball Lecture Series, No Boundaries to Success. This is a program that seeks to provide a forum for Augusta State students to be encouraged on their road to academic success. Our topic is entitled Relationships, Friendly Environments, and Serious Associations. Again, I thank you for your attendance and it is our sincerest hope that something will be said or done that will enrich you in your personal as well as academic life. Thank you, Katula. We'll now have our welcome, I'm sorry, our introduction of speaker by Crystal Ruffin. Good afternoon. Today our speaker will be Pastor Jean T. Harris at the New Life Worship Center. She is the Director of Women's Affairs. Um, she actually attended Augusta State at one point. She's the wife of Pastor Claude Lamar Harris, who's also with us today. She's the leader of several departments. Um, she has two children who attended, one graduated, one attends Augusta State. And she's just a great woman of God. You'll be, um, you'll enjoy her as she speaks. And she's going to be going relationships. She's a phenomenal speaker. She's also the um, host of her weekly broadcast, Life with Jan, which comes on four or five or Sundays. So um, just enjoy her as she comes. To at this time, I present to you, Pastor Jan Tian. <laughs> the way I just kind of holler out and you would be surprised what we would ask the neighbor for. Jane, you got any toilet paper? <laughs> but anyways, it's a joy and certainly it's a privilege to be with you this afternoon. And um, I'd like to thank Karen, Karen Mobley, or Mobley, the coordinator, and of course, Crystal Ruffin, thank you for that introduction. And the talented, uh, 10th organization here at ASU, I was kind of briefing over the information that was given to me on your organization, and you all are much involved, and I thank, uh, thank you for that, and how you're increasing, or you're, you're endeavoring to increase the graduation among uh, African American um, males. I was just looking in the paper today, and it was, I think, maybe three males just shot down in their their 20s and then this is not just here in Augusta it's all over and it happens that I know one of the three that were killed my son played in his wedding just about maybe four months ago so um, to have an organization such as the talented 10 have an organization, to have an organization like the talent, thank you, the talented uh, 10th and how they're endeavoring to uh, increase the graduation among African American males is just awesome. Give them a hand. that this group was committed to advancing the development of character as well as professionalism I knew this was a great opportunity and so I just kind of thank Crystal for the invitation and I'm glad to be here we're going to be dealing with uh, friendly environments and of course associations which I believe are crucial you have to ask yourself what is the attitude of the people that I spend a considerable amount of time with. The people that I hang with, are they goal-oriented? Ask yourself, are they highly motivated? Are they self-starters? Are they positive people? Or are they negative people? Who do I really associate with? How do they affect my self-esteem? 
And I want you to know you need to be in healthy environments and around serious-minded people. The real increase or expansion of your vision will come by association. Wrong people will produce the wrong life. And that's just the way it is. I'll even go as far as to say, do not pledge allegiance to cliques, groups, gangs. Stay out of gossip. Stay out of backbiting. Stay out of who's having an affair with who. And, and just be you, boo. Just, just that simple. Just be you. Love you. Don't let the environment get inside of you. I was born here in Augusta, but I was raised in New England. And then um, my mother and I, we came back to Georgia in 1975. And just the mindsets of many people that I met here in Augusta, I wanted to make friends, I wanted to have a relationship, but I had to make some serious choices about some, some things. And I decided, well, I'm not that hungry for just a friend if I have to change my morals. You understand? And so I made the decision that I am not going to allow the environment to get inside of me. You got to identify the particular elements in your environment for which you need protection. What are the toxins that are in my environment? Well, let's look at some toxins. Complainers. What about this morning? How many people have you hooked up with? All they have done today was complain. Complainers. Oh, you pointing at her with brown eyes. <laughs> Complainers and gripers and gossipers. And what about harassers? You can't fly. Look at somebody and say, you can't fly with eagles pecking with the chickens. Can't fly with eagles pecking with the chickens. Sometimes you have to even work in a hostile environment. And even in that, you have to stay focused and you have to stay strong. Some people live in a hostile <laughs> environment, but you have to stay focused and you have to stay strong. And then I'd like to say you have to refer to a divine diet. What is that? Well, if you're a Christian, it's the good or the godly words that flow out of the mouth of our Lord Jesus Christ. If you're not a Christian, well, you better get a hold of some good wholesome words that you can meditate on because that will help you when you're put into a hostile situation. Not all relationships serve to benefit you. Hmm. I don't care how cute he is or how cute she is. Not all, not all relationships benefit you. There are some relationships that you should avoid because they're sapping the life. They're sapping the life out of you and they're breaking your focus. When you speak of relationships, what are you talking about? You talk about being related and connected and associated to somebody for whatever reason. Out of, one out of, put this down, one out of two marriages fail. Every divorce affects at least 25 people. Not just you and him, boo. Not just you and her, boo. But it affects to at least 25 people. Three out of five teenagers are dissatisfied with their parents. High resentment exists between teenagers and parents. Seven out of 10 people say they don't even have a true genuine friend. They say that no one is there for them and they cannot honestly share, trust, or feel genuinely accepted. There's a book entitled, and I'm so sorry I didn't get a chance to get the author's name, but the name of the book is The Day America Told the Truth. And it reveals that there is a growing resentment between men and women. The battle of the sexes, it's raging, hindering a proper respect and honest friendship between men and women. One example of how relationships have deteriorated is that some of the most common words revealed in the book that women use to describe men are dogs and pigs. It has gone down to be just the animal kingdom. And then of course, ladies, we're known as female dogs and cats. For many of us, we have learned to put 